So guys, forgive me for I have sinned. I have bought keys. In this video, I'm going to be... <laughs> I oh, I can't... This is a very weird video to make. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got from buying keys. After that, I'll be sharing my thoughts and opinion on Treasure Hunter. There's a timestamp in the description below if you want to skip straight to the loot and not see me opening the keys. This video was made during the Loot Duels promotion, which is essentially a promotion with all other Treasure Hunter promotions crammed into one. So I know this video is going to be very controversial, and I'm sorry, but I'm just here to make content. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So here we are, a YouTuber buying keys to make a video. Well, well, well. I spent 17.6 euros, which may not sound a lot, but in my opinion, spending that on microtransactions is a lot. For reference, that's around 20 US dollars. This was a total of only, I'm saying only because people buy much more keys sometimes, 75 keys during what supposedly should be one of the best promotions ever because it's literally all good promotions, smoldering lamps, meteorites, rainbow promotion, everything crammed into one promotion. So I thought I'd spend some money on this. Now, of course, I'm regretting this because I don't like spending money on microtransactions. I hope this video will make it back. I'm just being entirely honest here. I really hope this video makes that 17.6 euros back because I don't like spending money on stuff like this. But it was extremely fun to open 75 keys. So as I'm clearly not going to be making the video 10 minutes long for extra ad revenue and extra ads, I'm going to be showing you guys my reactions to opening the chests. Then I'll be getting into the loot and then I'll be getting into my opinion on Treasure Hunter. Be sure to check the description below if you want to skip to a specific part because I know most people will not want to watch the entire video and are only interested in the loot. So yeah, check the description below. Anyways, let's get into the live reactions, shall we? So, I just spent 80 euros, and we're, uh, we're gonna check. Oh man, I'm already regretting this. This is protein chest. Let's just take it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what is this? Skilling chest, rune chest, adamant chest, obviously the rune one. Fishing bonus experience, okay. Just normal ones. Roll bolts, no one cares about those. Adamant chest. Let's just, we're gonna drop double dragon chest. Eight times... The amount of normal prizes of a treasure hunter chest. <laughs> Spins a wheel. Dude, what the hell? Eight medium prismatic fallen stars. Um, I'm gonna have to experience chest or dragon chest. Clearly the experience chest. Rainbow chest or skilling chest. Let's just go for rainbow chest. <laughs> Falling stars for dungeon engineering. I can't use hearts of ice for this uh, promotion, by the way. So 25 keys down. Oh boy, this is ridiculous. Let's just go for the antique chest now, I guess. Holy shit! Seven times prismatic large fallen star. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. God chest. A god chest that holds five times the amount of normal prizes of a church hunter chest. Okay, cool, I guess. So we only have a few more keys left. And this is the last key. So, rip. That was 75 keys. So let's just go ahead and check what we get from these experience chests. What? Psst, okay. So let's just open the other chest first. Antiques give us even more prismatic lamps. What the hell? Skilling chest. Those skilling chests are broken because the dummies are overpowered for sure. Just look at this. So the total loot ended up being 1.7 mil in GP. A bunch of combat dummies, like I got a few chests, or boxes, or whatever you call them. I don't really care for them. Didn't count them and just smashed them in my bank. 26 skilling dummies, which is pretty crazy, because they're 20k base agility experience per piece at my level without any boosts. If you're using pulse cores and bonus experience, you can triple that experience. If you're doing them on double experience weekend, it's going to be even more. So yeah, those were a great addition. 48 pulse cores. I got some pulse cores from the chests. And I got around 3 point something K oddments, and I bought more pulse cores with that money, or with those oddments, for an easy extra 450k bonus experience or so. 
I only got 550k experience from the lamps. I got a few prismatic ones, a few small rings ones. So it wasn't really that good in terms of pure experience gained instantly. I didn't have much bonus experience and I didn't get many smoldering lamps, otherwise that would be a higher amount of experience. I also got some portable packs, I got a total of 30 portables in total, 430 protein items or something like that. I had a few in my bank and dumped them in my bank and that's why I don't have the exact amount but it's around 430. And the big amount of bonus experience I got was 2 million bonus experience and I don't have everything 99. I put in some skills that I do not have 99 yet. I got some random prismatic stars. I put as much of my bonus experience as I could in woodcutting because I do not like the skill. It's very slow but it is AFK and I got a total of 875k bonus woodcutting experience. Now you may think, mm, that's not that too much, that won't get you to 99. But keep in mind, woodcutting is around 100k an hour without any big boosts at the levels I am doing it right now, at Overgrown Idols and such. Now, 900 or almost 900k bonus experience is almost 10 hours extra worth of hours that are just saved. I don't have to train those hours anymore. 10 hours of my life saved. If that would be the same for fishing and the other skills that might be slow, 2 million bonus experience is actually quite a lot. So that translates into 20 hours if you are getting 100k an hour of hours that are saved of your life. That does not even count in the pull scores I got, which also translate in extra bonus experience. So that brings me on to my next point. Was this worth it? Is Treasure Hunter worth it? To answer the question simply and shortly, I'd say yes and no. I saved 50 hours of my life buying these keys. These keys, 75 keys, would cost you 5 bonds, translating in around 100 million GP. I'm pretty sure most players watching this video can make 100 million GP in 50 hours. And making IRL money, let's say 20 euros or 20 dollars, you can make that in an hour if you have some education, for sure. I'm not saying you should spend it on keys, but that would take you one hour and would save you 50 hours of your life. Those 50 hours could be spent working or doing something you actually enjoy, if you hate grinding of course. So that would bring my answer up to, yes, it is actually worth buying keys. Unless you're a lower level. If you're buying keys at, let's say, 1000 total level, this is ridiculously expensive to get any experience whatsoever and is 100% not worth doing. But if you're close to max, it seems that during a good promotion, it could actually be worth buying keys. Don't get me wrong, I'm not promoting keys, I'm not saying you should buy them, especially if you want to feel more achieved when you max or get a certain goal and you just don't want to have any help whatsoever. You know, just go play Iron Man mode anyways. So. Buying keys is worth it in my opinion if you're close to max or you're just high level and you get the most out of your money. The thing is though, what most people hate about Treasure Hunter is the fact that other players can get something they achieved within a short amount of time, especially if they're spending lots of money doing a good promotion, which makes the sense of achievement just disappear completely for those people. And to that I would say, why would you care? Don't get me wrong, I'm no hater here again, but why would you care, like, <laughs> seriously, why would you care that someone got something you got faster by spending money? You're the person that still has the money because you didn't spend it and you know you worked hard for that goal. Let me just give you an example with, let's say, cars. Let's say that person buying keys has a Lamborghini and you have a Toyota Corolla. He in the Lamborghini will be going much faster from 0 to 60 or 0 to 100, depending on if you're using kilometers or miles per hour, than you will. He can get on the highway much faster than you. Now, assuming that you both do not go beyond the speed limits, that will mean despite his car being faster, you're still arriving at the same location at the same time, taking just as long. The only difference is he just picks up speed much faster when going from 0 to 60, 0 to 100, 0 to 100, it doesn't matter. And apart from that, he's also using more fuel, depending again on what, which car you have, you know, whatever. It doesn't have to become all technical. He's using more fuel, he's paying more for his car, but in the end, it doesn't matter because you'll be going the same speed and you'll be spending less and it's just the same thing. 
Although he is driving in the goddamn Lamborghini. Lamborghini, if you're watching this video, please sponsor me and send me an Aventador SV. Thank you very much. No, but seriously, this is the reason why you should not be caring if others are buying keys or not. And I'm just saying this to just excuse myself for buying keys. But really, you should not care at all. And on that note, I want to end the video. But I do want to ask you guys to comment down below what you think of me buying keys and people buying keys in general and just treasure hunter as a whole i do think it's a massive cash grab personally but jagex does need the money to keep producing content and improving the game paying the staff etc so keys are going to be here and they're going to stay so you better accept them so yeah so maxing faster than you will not affect you in any way unless it's your ego or something because runescape is not as competitive as you think because there's already so many people with 5.4 billion experience if you do want to go for high scores though go do hardcore iron man mode or something like that because there's still records to get out there anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace